All right, now we're going to show you how to stain your clock. You have four different choices of stain. You've got red oak, which is what we're going to be using today, colonial maple, a little bit of orange wood, a natural, and a golden oak. All just different colors, and hopefully you've taken a look at your home, see what color of wood you have at home to use. And once you chose your stain, you'll come over here. You find your stain on this upper shelf in the production room. So once you've decided on the color of stain that you want to stain your project, you take the whole bucket down. For your stain rags, you need a towel like this, and we're going to rip it off like that. So you have a small stain ragging towel, and this will be the towel you use to wipe off. The way you get this is right in this room here. You have shop towels. Please only take one. Do not waste these. Just take one. Rip the small off, small end for a staining rag, and the big end for wiping your stain off. Throw these away when you're done at the end of the hour. All right, I'm gonna set this down, maybe shake my can a little bit. Make sure the lid's on it. Yeah, make sure your lid's on it right before you shake it. And then you'll take this can opener. Simply open the can carefully. Go to set it down without getting anything on my fingers. Now I'm going to set my wood out. Bait, spread it out so I have plenty of room to work with. Maybe I'm going to scoot over a little bit. We got gloves here in this package. And then got stain rags inside here. All these simply are just a little piece of a rag. And just set this off to the side, leave it open. And when you dip these rags in the can, you don't need very much. You want to keep the lip of this can clean. So you don't, this should not be a messy process. I'm just going to dip a little bit in there. Take my wood, come over here and just spread it around. And notice, I'm not dripping any stains. It's a pretty clean process. Make sure you get your corners. Corners are easily missed. Maybe a little bit more if you feel like you, get, you need some more. Just gonna spread it around. Corners are often missed. You Don't do miss staining any of your corners. I'm just going to set this off to the side. Take my next piece. You do not need to get in these holes where we made the biscuit. That's going to be this piece right here. Pieces. I'm not going to show you each and every one. Now this is there's two sides. There's a side with maybe a number in the middle. And it's kind of it doesn't look nearly as nice. This looks much nicer. stain in there so it looks fairly clean. Put that back in there. Close that up. Take this rag. It should be a rag that's colored close. And I'm just going to wipe the pieces down. And as you wipe them down so you kind of keep track, I would just put them back in your box. And you wipe the piece down. Now, when you're done, you're take your can, take your lid, 
put it on there. You do not want to hit it in the middle. There's, you don't want to take a hammer and smack the middle. You just want to, on the edges, take your rag and I'm just pushing on the edges, not in the middle. Close that up. Set that off to the side. And then you, if you have time for the day, you would watch the assembling part of your video or you wait until tomorrow to assemble your clock. Throw these away when you're done at the end of the hour.